Today's talk focuses on the fact that Mercedes-Benz has now introduced a new Class A truck called the E-Vision under the Fuso brand. The claim is that this is a full, uh, full almost 80,000 pounds. They're saying they're two tons below 80,000 pounds on the amount of amount that the entire truck weighs. And the goal today is to review this truck because it is actually a Tesla product. <music> Greetings, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Bonjour and begates, French and German. If this is your first time viewing our videos, please hit the like button so you don't miss anything uh, because we produce actually on a regular basis. Today's talk focuses on the fact that Mercedes-Benz has now introduced a second truck with, under the Fuso brand. And uh, there are about five points that I'd like to bring up about this truck. So the first thing I'd like to say is we're going to, I'll include a link to this truck in operation. There's actually video of it that Mercedes-Benz has put out, but under their own brand. Uh, as you know, Mercedes-Benz owns 89% of Mitsubishi and Fuso is under the Mitsubishi brand, but all the development for this truck was actually done in Europe. The first of five points that I'd like to make on this is that uh, Mercedes-Benz is introducing this truck after having it in test mode uh, with several entities in Stuttgart over the last, let's say, eight months. In the case of this vehicle, they, as typically the case, they put a design or an engineering team behind the vehicle and followed it around, and Stuttgart is a better place to test than when they were testing their Class 6 truck, uh, the e Cantor, first in Portugal, and then they brought it back to Germany because you have a lot more temperature situation that you can test the vehicle in. The second point I'd like to make is that inventory of batteries. Mercedes-Benz has bought part of a ba battery manufacturer in Korea to prepare for their passenger cars. They've also begun building a mega factory so they'll have their own supply of batteries to start fueling vehicles like their trucks if they so choose or passenger vehicles so a portion of their production can be done in-house. Currently they make a point of listing when Robert Bosch or other partners of that nature are suppliers, but in general, Mercedes-Benz does not make it known who exactly is supplying everything there. The battery represents half the cost of the vehicle typically and probably half, you know, a large portion of the weight. And so it's interesting that they're choosing to remain silent on their battery pack supplier just like they've done with all the other vehicles that Tesla was supplying batteries with them for. Again, as in the case of the smaller Class 6 Fuso, the battery pack in my assess assessment and uh, management uh, of thermal is being done by Tesla. Part of the Mercedes process, from what I'm gathering, is they're systematically trying to build their way from the engine into temperature control for the batteries and then eventually into the batteries. So by announcing that Tesla is their supplier, it really doesn't serve them well to sort of be open and honest in this fashion on that issue. The third thing that comes up is some of the raw specs on this vehicle. The claim is that the vehicle does 220 miles prior to having to be recharged. This is actually 100, uh, it, they're claiming it's a 300 uh, KWH battery and the other than that the specs that are being offered are I want to say limited but I feel like when you look at the video and you look at the process they're doing I have to give them credit because they've been generally working on the truck for 10 years they, they definitely know that they need a long distance product uh, 220 miles is actually pretty good.
for the tonnage they carry. I believe it's 11 tons of cargo that they're able to haul behind a 20-ton uh, vehicle. So, you know, it's a, it's a step forward. Again, Tesla's strategy plan has been to, you know, maybe a third point is Tesla's strategy and plan has been to kind of stay out of the lower range vehicles in the semi space because they're already partnered with folks who are producing these vehicles. So they're generating revenue from that space. And the 2170 battery that Tesla is using facilitates the three to 500 mile range that competitors or customers like Mercedes Benz currently cannot cover. I actually like the partnership between Mercedes-Benz and Tesla in this case because it allows Mercedes to start to develop a, a product that eventually will be part of the solution to the pollution coming from trucks. There's always an announcement of Tesla being beaten to the market by different entities and I'm always fascinated by this because frankly if you're providing the batteries for those companies, I don't know if that you'd consider that being beaten the market if you're a partner of theirs. But uh, when it comes to criticizing Tesla, Mercedes, Audi, and others have been very aggressive about it. But when it comes time to admit that you're benefiting from that partnership, there's a huge amount of silence going on. Uh, my other I guess take on this whole thing is the fact that it's really nice to see more trucks being moved to market at different size and range because this is going to allow the transition to electric to happen faster and all the great form factors these vehicles represent really get a chance to sort of be ventilated onto the marketplace. I, the other thing I was really fascinated by on this whole thing is that as we've talked about in other videos the whole thermal management system is sort of the what is the big deal the fact is that a 300 kW battery is a fairly large battery and as this truck operates that's going to generate a huge amount of heat so Tesla's specialty is how do you manage heat with a great thermal management system and that heat allows vehicles like these that should be running in the range of four to five hundred thousand miles a year to be able to go in that three to five year range before you have to junk the batteries and start over again. I was intrigued to learn that folks who do not have excellent thermal management have challenges in terms of number one getting the thing fully charged and number two having battery life that doesn't drop to nothing, you know, in one or 200,000 miles. So I think it's exciting news that this truck is coming out. I think it's uh, great for Tesla and great for the environment and great for Mercedes that this vehicle is being rolled out. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the Tesla Mule meets up with it. I thought it was also interesting that I think I'm actually going to uh, include an image of the mule uh, in here again so that you can all take a look at the, the amount of freight that's associated with it because Tesla is looking to haul the full 80,000 pounds three to 500 miles whereas as Mercedes-Benz has talked about they're actually cutting back two or th two or three um, tons in order to be able to pull this truck off and Tesla is intent on towing everything uh, that's necessary. So I think that it's sort of an interesting difference in process. So to conclude my trucking analysis with the new Mercedes, uh, 220 mile Class A vehicle, impressive, uh, impressive product, impressive Tesla, or Tesla slash Mercedes is making this effort. 
I don't think it's a big deal relative to the real deal, three to five hundred mile vehicle Tesla's messing with. Um, my other point that I was going to make before I cut was the fact that Tesla has ceded the low end of the market to other entities. So you notice that there is no 100 mile Tesla because 100 mile doesn't do anybody any good and customers are really looking for that long distance solution. So Tesla is really seeding the bottom end all the way up to 200 miles in range to partners or other entities and going after the biggest part of the market which is class 8, 3 to 500 miles, uh, which is where the action and large dollars are. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks for taking time out. Tschüss, mach's gut, au revoir, le hitraut, hoda hafez. Please like and subscribe. Always interested in topics uh, which folks are interested in us covering. Have a great day and thanks and goodbye for now.